If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a new half half foundation review. So basically, I'm going to be wearing two foundations all day on my face. I actually have worn these in the past, but I wanted to do a video together. These videos are sometimes for dupes, sometimes just to compare two at the same time for the sake of time saving. Uh, but you voted on Twitter that you wanted me to compare these two. This is the Fenty Beauty. Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation, and then I have the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. So I'm gonna be wearing these on half my, my face. I was actually asked if I consider these dupes. I don't know if people are wondering because they're both in squeezy tubes and everything, but uh, you're gonna be able to tell from the wear test, basically. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna apply the Fenty Beauty on my right, your left. And by the way, I have the shade 150, which was supposed to be a light neutral, and I feel like the color is not bad for me. It might be a bit light for the summer, but I guess we are going towards fall, sadly. So I'm gonna apply it with a sponge because that's what I usually do. Let me bring you up close and personal. So I'm testing this new lighting. Let me know how you feel about it. I'm hoping like currently on the monitor, it seems to be pretty like, okay, not overexposed. I'm not using any filters as usual and I will be bringing you in front of the window so you can see my skin in natural lighting. But yes, I don't have too much going on right now. I mostly have redness like leftover of like pimples. So let's see the coverage using a sponge as usual. So the foundation is supposed to give you like some coverage while not being dehydrating. And as always, I forgot to mention it, I have combination skin, so I do get oily in my T-zone, but I do have some dehydration, mostly on my nose, but sometimes some foundation will give me some everywhere. Sometimes I will have zero issue. They're saying that this foundation is supposed to give you medium coverage, but a natural finish, and it's supposed to last all day, obviously, long wear. Um, they're saying this is for normal, dry, and combination, so maybe... It won't control my oils that much. I don't sell you mine repowdering as long as the foundation doesn't, you know, separate or anything. But I'm hoping that this could be good for me, again, more towards, like, winter, as long as it doesn't overly emphasize, again, any dehydration. So if you have dry skin, this could be a foundation that you have on your radar. I'm still struggling to pronounce things, by the way, because of my surgery. But we're getting there slowly. The best part is definitely the color range, 50 shades, and I didn't struggle as much at finding the perfect shade for me as I sometimes do in other foundation range because I have like light skin, but I'm like neutral to cool. And I feel like quite often it means that the foundations will be like neutral. They're going to be still yellow. And then when you go for pink, they're going to be like really, really pink or really peachy. This one actually feels like a proper neutral, which I appreciate. So again, that was 150. So you can see that it gives me like a decent amount of coverage. I think I'm going to build it up a little bit, bit more, a little bit more on my forehead because I did have some redness still, but that was a thin layer and I do feel like my skin still looks like skin, which I appreciate on a daily basis. I don't feel like I need to wear full coverage. I would rather apply something that looks amazing on the skin and then just splat conceal. And you can see you can definitely tell the difference between the foundation just evened out my skin tone. I'm gonna to apply the other half before doing a close up. I'm just gonna to try to do half my nose, which is always a struggle, and like half between my brows. This is definitely the toughest part of these videos. I think this is kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna switch sponge and we're gonna go with the Maybelline one. The best one that I have, they sent me three shades and I bought the FNT one. And the one that seems the best for me undertone wise is this one which is 112 natural ivory it's not perfect but you can definitely still make it work i feel like foundations as long as it's not too far off you can easily play with it with the powder or bronzer or anything but you can see it's not that bad actually i forgot let me apply a little swatch of the fenty to show you the oxidation and we can compare the colors to at the same time so this is the fenty beauty one it looks a little gray on my skin tone right now but it's because my body is still way more tan than my face always is uh, and then this is the Maybelline one. So we're gonna give them a few minutes to fully dry and then I'll swatch a fresh swatch next to them so you can see, again, the oxidations. Uh, the Maybelline one doesn't have a pump. It's definitely just a squeezy tube, which I don't really mind. I feel like you definitely are able to get every last bit in there. They only have 16 shades, which I mean, it's a drugstore foundation. So they usually tend to have a lot less shades. And this one is supposed to be, once again, very natural, but more like coverage. It's supposed to be like, you know, antioxidant, supposed to help again, pollution and everything. It has SPF 50. To be honest, I wouldn't recommend using only your foundation as your sun protector, just because you're not gonna apply a thick enough layer to actually get 
said protection. But I mean, in my case, I feel like any protection is always better than nothing. I know a lot of people skip that step. Shouldn't, but you know, you do you. It does have a kind of fruity scent to me, but I have a terrible sense of smell, so... <laughs> but it doesn't smell like bad or like foundation or anything. And the Fenty Beauty doesn't really have a scent. Okay, so you can see them half-half. I feel like the undertones are actually pretty similar once they're applied to my face. Uh, that's kind of the thing with anything that is more light coverage, it's a little bit more forgiving. So 16 shades, even though it's probably not enough. Uh, again, there's more of a chance of you finding a good shade for you uh, whenever it's more full uh, light coverage than full coverage. So uh, from afar, you can probably tell that they both give me like a natural kind of glowy a little bit finish. But if I bring you closer. Okay, so here we are in front of the window. I'm trying to not be directly in the sun. It's still early in the morning, it really hits the window, but you can see from afar, it looks great. I feel like it looks like skin. Anything that I want it to, uh, it to cover is covered, and uh, they look actually similar. I can go out <laughs> without looking too crazy. Sometimes it's a bit hard, uh, but my main issue is that while it looks great on my cheeks on both sides, my main issue is my nose and my chin. So you might, oh yeah, I think you can see it. Uh, especially on the sides, so this is the Maybelline one, and this is the Fenty one. You can see that the te texture is definitely emphasized. Same thing with my chin. On my chin I have less dry patches, but I still have some overall dehydration. So I feel like today I'm having like a bad day for dehydration, so I feel like they do tend to emphasize it more than whenever I tried them in the past. <laughs> By the past, I mean two days ago. Uh, I do think that overall they are currently performing pretty well considering. I feel like generally speaking, foundations will either work really well at controlling the oil or they will uh, not make your skin drier. But dehydration is just overall very, very tricky. So right now, I would say it would work for everyone except dehydration. So we're going to see throughout the day how they continue to perform. But so far, I think they look actually pretty good. Like no one's going to be this close to me like ever. Like the internet sees my pores way more than normal people so <laughs> I think so far we're doing pretty good they're both very comfortable I forgot to mention that I don't feel them on my skin whatsoever uh, I did apply some powder because I always do so right now they're looking a tiny bit more powdery than they would than they would if uh, you didn't apply as much or something I try to always be consistent and apply about the same amount you know every day and whenever I'm trying new foundation and everything so I can actually compare them there was no primer or anything just my normal skincare so yeah uh, I'm gonna go on with my day so far so good and I will see you a bit later Almost forgot, let me do the fresh swatch next to the dried one so you can see if they oxidize and how much because most foundation will oxidize a little bit when they dry but it's to what extent that is important. <laughs> that way you can decide if you need to go a little lighter or way lighter. So I think the lighting is pretty good right now that you can tell. So uh, these two on this side, not my face, here we go. So on this first side, you have the Fenty Beauty one, the old and fresh swatch. You can see that freshly swatched, it was a little yellow for be considered like neutral. It does dry to pretty neutral color. It works for me. And then the Maybelline one, you can see it's a bit yellow at first and it becomes a little peachy. Again, it is light coverage, so I feel like it doesn't do anything crazy on my face. I feel like if anything, it matches my body. But uh, yeah. It's like neutral-ish, I guess. So it does oxidize a little bit more than the Fenty one. Nothing too crazy. They both end up working pretty well for my skin tone. So um, it's been over 11 hours. Do you see that glow? <laughs> that greasy, greasy glow. <laughs> okay, real talk. Um, 11 hours. At this point, it's past 8. It's like 8.16. I just want to wash my face at this point. Uh, you can see that I am very, very oily. Today was a very warm, hot, humid day. I was outside, so any foundation would have required some repowdering eventually, and I didn't for the sake of this video. And you can see that they're definitely oily, but, but even at this distance, I think you can tell that they did not separate with this amount of oil. So, you know, not bad. And the dehydration on my chin is not worse. It didn't move around too much. The nose is still the only place that kind of eh because it was already. I'm hoping this will do it justice. It's always kind of hard at night like that. But uh, it's not worse than it was. It's just, you know, not great. But it's just the skin at the moment. My skin at the moment. So I have been dying to do this. For a couple of hours at this point. I'm gonna use two different ones just to see out of curiosity if one side transfers more than the other. 
But I mean, at this point, I wouldn't blame anyone or I mean any foundation for transferring. So you can see that there's definitely some transfer here. But uh, the foundation just looks great at this point. I think a little bit of oil actually made it even better. Let's do the other half. Oh, I think there's a little less on this side. But I think there's less coverage, so it kind of makes sense. I think the only place that uh, the Maybelline one didn't do as well is right on the side of my nose. I feel like the dehydration is more emphasized on this side than this one. But overall, I think it's a good alternative. Is it an exact dupe? I think it's going to depend on your skin type. Overall, I would say that both of these are good foundations that I will keep in my collection and I will keep using. Uh, I think tonight I need like to do like a sheet mask or something to just make sure to uh, rehydrate my skin because it's been so hot and like the sun and then chlorine in the pool and everything. It's been a lot for my poor skin. So I have been quite dehydrated. But even if you have combination skin, these could still be a good everyday foundation for you. And if you have dry skin, could also be something to try. Again, the only thing I would say is that if you have dehydration, it's always difficult, but these do emphasize it a little bit. Not anything worse than other ones that I've tried. So overall, both of these, I give them thumbs ups and I will keep wearing. <laughs> it's getting late, I'm getting tired. But yes, I enjoyed my foundation. Uh, the only thing is that I obviously would uh, blot and repowder throughout the day which I didn't do today, but I feel like it's something that tends to look better as the day goes on for me. So now the question is, have you tried these? How do you feel about them? Are you planning on checking them out? Let me know in the comment section and I will see you in my next video soon. So give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to not miss any future ones because I have a bunch of new foundation reviews, wear tests coming up. I will actually be putting some videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Like I feel like I look extra shiny because of the bright lights. Doesn't help. <laughs>